MGT353, uh, hashtag STRAM, S-T-R-A-M-G-T, G is in uh, graduate, T is in uh, tips. STRAM GT353 has a sequel uh, called STRAM GT353S. The old STRAM GT353 is where you're doing a search fund. You actually have to raise money to buy an existing company that you improve and then sell. STRAM GT353S is done with no money and uh, a whole handful of street smarts. So what you're trying to do inside of STRAM GT353S is practice the things that you're doing inside of a search fund uh, without the actual physical money itself. I know that sounds counterintuitive where you're doing things before you raise money, but that's what great founders do. They will do things and raise equity and do a lot with not a whole lot of money. And so that's the goal of hashtag StramGT353S is to try to uh, build our entrepreneurship muscles via a class at Stanford, actually in this case Stanford Business School. You're trying to build your muscles via a class before you even go before you even go. So you don't have money and you haven't been admitted yet, right? You can get the knowledge of Stram GT 353 by Googling things and getting good at Googling and getting good at self-study before the money, before you get admitted as a CS major. That's the, the naughtiness of Stram GT 353S is you haven't gotten admitted yet, you don't have very much money and you need to sort of make a name for yourself. This is the triumvirate of Stram GT 353S, CS 183E as in edit, and ENGR 145S as in sequel. ENG, let me repeat that ENGR 145S as in sequel. So, using those three extrapolations, you can't just extrapolate without the base knowledge of what was behind those. So, what was behind CS 183E is CS183 regular and CS183B as in boy. CS183 regular, CS183B, and a little bit even CS183C. All these classes are available online. So let's say you go, let's say you haven't been admitted yet. Let's say Stanford rejected you. Doesn't matter. These classes are there. Now, after you've mastered those classes in an AP score 5 or a CLEP score of I'm going to place out of a class, CLEP, if you're not American, college level entrance placement, where if you're rocking with physics, you don't have to take physics, depending on your requirements. If you're great at chem, you can CLEP out of your general chem requirement. That's what CLEP is. So the parallel for CLEP and AP is to do great with three classes that are all online, that you're not going to get credit for but you need it for entrepreneurship. Engineering 145, CS183, uh, the sequence of CS183 by Peter Thiel, CS183B by Sam Alton, CS183C sort of by Reed Hoffman, and CS183E is my extrapolation, along with Stram GT353. That's uh, Professor Grausbeck. You can Google it. Uh, G-R-O-U, I do everything for you guys. G-R-O-U-S-B-E-C-K, B as in boy, E-C-K. Professor Grosbeck's got a great class on search fund, where you raise a small fund and then you go buy a semi-defunct entity or a rising entity or an entity where a founder got divorced and now needs to liquidate the business. So you take that business that you bought via liquidation and then you improve it and then sell it. That's what a search fund does. It's genius stuff. Genius stuff where you don't just want to have a good idea, you want to be able to execute on things that are great ideas. That's what uh, a search fund does. Stram GT353S is all of that hustle of improvement of CS183E as an edit, but with a search fund. So you're, you're delving and you're dovetailing some of the best classes at Stanford. Now, there's going to be an argument of, hey, you didn't even go to Stanford right? That's a valid argument. But you know what? If you hook me up to a computer or a testing machine 
or some kind of analytics, those handful of classes I have mastered as well as the professor. Now that's a bold statement, but the proof is in the pudding of Engineering 145. I was able to extrapolate over two dozen blog posts by sitting in on four years, four years worth of classes. Who takes Engineering 145 four times? It's an embarrassing high amount of time. But remember, entrepreneurship is a practice. It is not a perfection. So you can't just take it once and be like, oh, I'm at like uh, 92%. That's an A on the bell curve. No, not in entrepreneurship. In entrepreneurship, the masters are at 60%, 70%. Uh, for baseball, the, Baseball is a sport where you are masterful. If you're succeeding not even 30% of the time, if you're a 300 hitter, I'm sorry to use a baseball analogy or a sports analogy if that offends you, but it matters because it's, there are parallels to it because in sports, the better team doesn't always win. Uh, in sports, there are underdogs. And in entrepreneurship, that's only what you'll see. So to repeat, it's CS183. E, Stram GT 353S, and Engineering 145S. But focus on the Stram GT 